welcome to the wicked gamer and collector welcome back to the youtube channel and then today we're today's video we are going to do it retro style we're going back through the wicked couch with the fluffy blanket mm, yeah this is where it all started people so in today's video we're going to do some uh you know revisiting more extended testing of the retro stone we're going to power it on the system is based on orange pie don't forget to check out the review and yeah, this is normal by the way, it's always when he's booting up, so don't be afraid. And let's play some retro games, some homebrew games, because there are homebrew games on this thing. Pretty cool, don't you think? So let's go! Yeah, PlayStation Sound. Let's start with the classic one, Duke Nukem. Right. Whoa. Oh man. <laughs> they messed it up. Ah, ah. So this is what sometimes happens that you need to reconfigure all those freaking games and homebrew games. Oh, this one's this one's correct. Okay, well, let's see what the back buttons do. Nothing. Oh, duck. Or what's your duck button? What? Some weird stuff. So, it's more like it's running fine, <laughs> but it is really unplayable this way. Oh crap! All right, Mr. Boom. Hmm. Looks like bummer, man. <laughs> oh, this is a really funny game. It's a really funny game. We got more firepower! Oh man, I destroyed the... Oh, that's a bummer. I destroyed the extra one. Still have two bombs. Blow them up! Seriously? He just did, seriously did that. Oh crap. Oh yeah, and it also plays Quake. Now we can play it on a bigger screen. If you compare it with the LDK. Okay, need to hold in the right position. As you can see, the screen is really dark. Man, I can barely see something. I have things map correctly. The D-pad is very comfortable. Hmm. So fun fact, you can play this on the LDK retro game and all of the homebrew system, but it's running way smoother on the retro stone. No hiccups. So but what I've noticed with these homebrew games, and of course you can just remap them, but if you are just installing it, I don't know why, but they seem to be messing up all of the buttons. So there's something you need to consider that you need to remap everything. But nevertheless, I just wanted to show you there are also some homebrew games like for example Zelda. Pretty cool. Uh, they are also for LDK and all the other systems with OpenDingux for, for example. Um, but just wanted to sh quick show you. Next game. Alright, so for this part we're going to try Wolfstein 3D in old DOS game. Yes. And yeah, I know, I just chose the most easier, easiest way to play this game. I know, I know. Just wanted to do you doing quick gameplay just to show you what 
you're going to get. What I've noticed with this thing is that the D-pad, if you want to play fighting games, it's good, but when playing these games, it, it responds so well. I like it. Compared with other games, systems like LDK and 300 or retro game, they got some small problems. So, playing these old games, it's not an EPS screen, but it looks fine. It plays very well because you have this very huge screen. I like it. All right, so there was the small testing video of the homebrew games on the retro stone i think it's pretty cool that you can play some homebrew games on the system um, the screen is a little bit bigger if you compare it with let's say the ldk and retro game 300. Uh, it's not an eps not not no 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 don't compare this with an eps screen because an eps screen is way better but nevertheless this is what you're going to get let me know what you think of this we really love to know and uh, thanks for watching don't forget to subscribe to the channel and hit the little bell and uh if you like retro gaming, don't forget to check out the Wicked Gaming channel, because we have a lot of crazy, awesome, wicked stuff going on there. See you next video. Bye-bye.